Hello, greetings. In this example, we will learn how to undertake earned value analysis using uh, an example of a small construction project. So the scenario being considered here is that your employer would like you to report uh, progress of the project uh, on October 20th. So the calendar which we will be using for this case study is given here. Now you can see that our reporting period is October 28th. So that's the reporting period uh, when uh, we would like to report the progress. And you can see that this project actually started on 27th of February. So it is somewhere uh, around here uh, when this project started. And we would like to report at this point and how this project is progressing. So we are assuming that uh, we are working with the standard five days a week and eight hours a day shift with a few additional non-working days. And those additional non-working days are indicated by uh, the underlined areas here. And you can see uh, all the red uh, uh, dates with underline are the non-working days. So such it is Sundays and a few non-working uh, 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 <coughs> uh, holidays. The project manager's tables of activities is uh, indicated here. So the first question that is being asked is forecast the duration of the activities that are currently in progress, assuming their current rate of progress will continue till the end of the project. So given a uniform rate of progress, we are being asked to uh, guess how long the activities which are in progress would take uh, to finish and also find out the remaining duration as per the forecast uh, duration. So first of all, we will have to see which activities are currently in progress. So we can see the first activity, which was site preparation, started on 27th of uh, February and it has already been completed 100%. So from viewpoint of this problem, this activity is of no interest because we have been uh, told that uh, we have to report the progress of activities which are currently in progress and this activity is not in progress. So the second activity is the substructure activity. It is already finished on 18th of July. So again, this activity is of no interest. Further down, we can see the superstructure activity. It started on 27th of July. It is yet not complete. So this is an activity for which we would like to report the progress. Exterior works, the activity has yet not started. It will be starting at some point in the future. So for the reporting purpose, we are not going to report uh, for this activity. Interior works, Again, it started on 31st of uh, uh, August. It's still in progress, so we will be reporting it. And the other two activities have yet not started. So let's move on to uh, forecast the duration of the activities. What we really need to do is for the activities in progress, we have to calculate the actual duration to status date. And new duration can be computed based on the percentage of the work completed to date. So if we take an example of a superstructure activity, it started on 20th of July. So this activity, uh, if we take this calendar, started somewhere around here. And if we start counting the number of weeks that have elapsed, so it would be one week at this point, uh, two, uh, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14 weeks and almost one day, but we uh, need to take into account that there was a holiday here. So roughly it works out that around 14 weeks have elapsed since uh, the first activity uh, superstructure started. Right, so so uh, we have calculated that the uh, actual duration up to the status date uh, has been 14 weeks. And we can also see from here that within those 14 weeks, we have delivered 75% of the work. 
so uh, if 75% of the work is delivered in 14 weeks, 100% of the work would be delivered in, it's a simple percentage calculation and we can calculate that it is going to take 18.6 weeks and of those 18.6, 14 weeks have already elapsed. So 4.6 weeks are remaining. So as we are reporting the progress on 28th of October, we can safely say that this activity is going to take almost four and a half weeks further. So uh, roughly uh, around uh, the second week uh, or first week of December, we would be finishing work uh, on this activity. Uh, likewise, we have to report progress of the second activity in progress, which is interior works. And for the interior works, you can see the activity started on 31st of August. So that is the day when the activity started. So you can start counting the dates uh, to the reporting date, which is uh, this one. So it would be week one, week two, three, four, uh, week five, week six, week seven, week eight. So eight weeks and a day, but also we have got a holiday here. So it works out to be eight weeks time period. Now we can see the uh, from the project notes that 50% of this activity has been completed. So this would mean that uh, you have completed 50% work in eight weeks. So it would take additional eight weeks to complete the work and the remaining duration would be uh, eight weeks. So it is eight weeks from uh, the reporting period, which is 28th of October. So that's the uh, uh, reporting time. Now let's move on to uh, the next uh, question here, which is to calculate the planned value, which is also referred to as a budgeted cost of work uh, uh, schedule based on the original budget, original duration. So the second question here is to calculate the plan value, which is also referred to as a budgeted cost of work scheduled based on the original budget, original duration, and the number of weeks uh, between the planned early start date and the status date. So we have to see how much um, money we should have spent by the reporting date, which is October 28. So we again look at the activities which are in progress. First of all, the superstructure activity. So the original budget for this uh, job was two million pounds. And uh, so far, 18 weeks have elapsed. So the idea was that we would be spending this much uh, money proportionally uh, in the 18 weeks period. Uh, now we can see the number of weeks uh, which have already elapsed between the project start date, which is 20th of July, to the reporting date, which is 28th of October, is 14 weeks. So we can uh, calculate that the uh, by this amount of uh, time, we should have spent 14 by 18 times 2 million is around 1.55 million uh, pounds. Similar approach is taken to uh, identify the plan value for the second activity in progress, which is the interior works. So the total uh, budget for this uh, job is 1.8 million and the original duration is uh, 14 weeks and uh, we are roughly uh, in, in the eight week and uh, so we can just calculate the proportion. So by this amount of, uh, in, by eight week, we should have spent this much amount of money. The third uh, uh, problem here is to calculate the budgeted cost of work performed, which is also referred to as earned value based on the original budget and the actual work complete for the activities that are in progress. So for uh, calculating the earned value, we use a simple percentage complete times plan value uh, by budgeted cost of the work formula. So you can see uh, the first activity is superstructure with an original budget of 2 million, 75% of 2 million is complete. So 75% of 2 million is 1.5 million. So at this point of uh, uh, reporting, we have achieved a value or we have earned a value of 1.5 million. The second activity, uh, which is in progress, is interior works with a total uh, budget of 1.8 million. We have achieved 50%, so that would indicate that we have achieved a value of 9.9 uh, .9, uh, million. 
Lastly, we are asked to identify some of the indicators to so calculate the scheduled performance index and cost performance index based on the budgeted cost of work scheduled and budgeted cost of work performed calculated previously for the activities that are in progress. And you are asked to comment whether these activities are ahead of schedule or behind schedule or whether they are under budget or over budget. So we use uh, these formulas which are given here. So schedule index is calculated using this formula which is earned value divided by plan value on most of the computer programs use these terminologies budgeted cost of work performed divided by budgeted cost of work scheduled so using this formula our schedule index 6.96 and the cost index is 1.03 so uh, as a rule of thumb if the value is below one it's a bad news for your project and if it is more than one it's a good news so basically it is indicating that and uh, the activity is slightly behind schedule and so in terms of schedule we are not doing very well but in terms of cost uh, we are doing very well and it is, is an under budget uh, activity uh, likewise for the other activity in progress which is interior works the schedule index will be calculated uh, by dividing 900,000 by uh, uh, the budget cost of work schedule. So this is uh, the cost of the work performed and uh, this is a value which has been earned and this is uh, budget cost and it is 0.875. So both of these values are less than one indicating that this activity is behind schedule and over budget. So here in this example we see how we can use simple uh, calculations uh, with the knowledge of a, a percentage complete uh, to give us some of the key parameters that uh, are critical to report the project uh, using earned value analysis method.